All right, Danny. See that pack of mutts over there? And what the hell are they accused of again? They've been accused of stealing Miss Henderson's beautiful pies right out of her goddamn window. Out of the goddamn window. Yeah. We're gonna have to rain on their puppy parade now, I guess, yeah. now, won't we? Whoa. What the heck? I think I just hit a button on my pit boy by accident. I might have bumped it. Oh. Danny? Danny, can you hear me? Danny, what the hell just happened? Everything all went all slow and mowy on me. Am I tripping? Danny, can you not hear me? Uh oh. This is bad. This is bad. Is there a way to come back from this? I think I'm I think I'm on drugs. Dandy, I'm just gonna start singing. Oh dandy. I'm tripping in the slow motion, dandy. Oh my god. What the hell have I done with my life? My drugs. And hookers. I have done enough. Look out, Danny, there's a, there's a dog coming at you. Fuck. I think I might have slipped into another dimension. Oh, he got you. You almost had him. Dandy, help me! I'm lost. Nice job, Ollie. You, you, you do, took care of me. Dear Dandy, by the time you're listening to this recording, I'll have been dead for a hundred years. But you will not have aged one day. Oh, Dandy, do I have to start singing again? Alright, Don, get your shit together. You got yourself into this fuckstorm. You can get yourself out. I'm just gonna push every goddamn button on this pit boy until- Whoa! Holy shit, Monaco! You just killed about 30 dogs in 4 seconds! How the hell did you do that? Dandy, I have transcended time and space. I Get the fucking dog off me, Dandy! Missed one. Okay, shut up, because here comes the best part of my story. So me and Dandy, we finally make it to the top of Black Mountain. And no sooner do we rescue those poor lost orphans, but a giant goddamn laser beam comes out of the sky and goes down on me and Dandy. Bang. Don't you have anything else you could be doing right now? There's only one thing I can think about doing right now, but I consider you a person and not a thing. Here it comes, facts about women, courtesy of my old pappy. You can write these down if you want. Facto numero uno. Women like to get hit on by men. It's flattering, it's charming, makes them feel all pretty, you know? So we do our best to hit on all the women we can, just ask Dandy. It's an old tradition for Monica and I. You know, in New Vegas, we didn't have many options. Here in Boston, though. Well, hello there, Sugarbush. Ever get f***ed in the f Options. Let me tell you something, getting hit on by Dandy is just that. You know, you feel like you've suffered blunt force trauma by the end of it. Wait, last time you said you rescued terminally ill puppies from Black Mountain, and now it's lost orphans? Oh yeah, don't worry about him. Anyways, after that laser beam killed me, my heart hasn't beat a once since that day. But maybe the sensual touch of a sassy woman in uniform will get her pumping again. So what do you say, sweet cheeks? You wanna pump it? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hey! Fuck Factory! Ah, shit. It's the brass. What the fuck are you two doing standing around? I vividly remember giving you two fuck noodles an assignment hours ago! Yeah, Chief, we were just waiting on Ollie. Yeah, with the weather being what it is out, uh, he was whining and whimpering, saying he was afraid of his little metal boy joints freezing up. I don't care if it's snowing butts and shitting cocks! Go into the closet where you two queens belong, get some jackets, Fill Ollie up with antifreeze and get out of my sight before I body slam you into my office floor and slam my door repeatedly on your spinal column until your body no longer works properly! Yes sir. Floor slam, door slam. Got it. Sorry about that, Cocoa Puffs. So where were we? Oh yeah, you were just about to surrender yourself over to the Lady Raider, weren't you? No. Yeah. Of course, the shittiest weather I've ever goddamn seen in my life, and the chief assigns Danny and I to a 519. Now that's gonna be an officer requesting backup. One thing you'll never ever hear come out of Monaco's and mine's mouth, and that is, we need backup. Backup? We Danny and I, we ain't nobody's backup. You know, we're front up, first up, straight up, ready to fuck up, 
Anybody who turns up. My fucks, it's cold out, Dandy. Holy shit, it looks like hell finally froze itself over again. Yep, Arctic blizzard fucks right here. Colder than Charlene when I forget to put the seat back down. I gotta be honest with you, I don't like snow. It's too damn snowy and shit, I don't know. Snow's like a bad woman. It's pretty to look at at first, but it's cold, it clings to you, and after two days, you just want it gone. You gotta be going this way. You gotta be heading the right way. Man, there's a lot of tires floating yeah, here it's today. It's tire central. People just dumping in the frozen rivers. It's How people problem. dumping the goddamn tires in the fucking water, man? Typical Bostoners. <sighs> no fucking kidding, man. Hey, Daddy, I've got a question for you. Yeah, what's that, partner? Why, why doesn't the ocean freeze up in the wintertime? Only the lakes and streams do. How come the ocean doesn't do that? You ever think about it? Never have had an opportunity to think well, about it too much. consider this. God made the fishes, right? That's right. God made the oceans, right? God made everything. You think God is going to freeze all of his fishes in the ocean? That's a good point, Freezing Andy. your own creation? That doesn't make any sense. That's a good point, Dan. I, I didn't think about the... More goddamn tires today. Yeah, Holy that, that, shit. That, they're just... that's, that's man-made right there. All right, Danny, this looks like we got a skirmish up ahead. I see red bolts flying. Somebody up here, order police backup. Here it is. Holy shit, we got bots. Bury yourself. We got fucking oh, robots. Send them to the scrapyard. Scrap Scrap them. Scrap them. That's scrap five dollars part right there. Five dollars part. That's a good scrap part. That's a good deal. Heads that up. Good deal. Heads up. Heads up. Hey, it's happy. Whoa. Fuck. Fucking wimps. You yelled heads up. Now my voice falling on deaf ears, Dandy. I'm used to it by now. Yep. Oh, shit. Monaco and Dandy. I put in an urgent request for backup, and you send officers Monaco and Dandy? Might as well send a pair of rad stags with their heads shoved up each other's asses. Yeah, we weren't surprised to see a lady cop called in a request for backup. You know, they don't have the male penises, so they're more emotional, more hormonal during their time of the lady time month. Women, man. There aren't many jobs that can finish on their own. The exception, of course, being hand and blow. Listen up. Our mission is to defend these civilians while they work as quickly as they can to get this artillery cannon- Yeah, sure, uh, hey, I think I just figured this all out here. What? A beautiful woman out here, surrounded by lesser men. Could it be that Officer Tapioca here just wanted a little company and decided to make that call for backup? Tapioca? Like the pudding? Mm-hmm, that seems right to me. It's cold out here, too. She probably wants a little heat. You know, some of that steamy sexual heat. Can you two keep it in your pants long enough for me to finish this briefing? Well, honestly, I'd prefer a debriefing, if you know what I mean. <sighs> that Officer Tapioca, she is a real crotch stomper. I mean, she is all business and no fun. She's like a pinata filled with tax returns. Facto numero do so. You ready? Women love to hear themselves talk. And you're better off to just let them. Listening, now that's up to you. The storm has damaged this artillery cannon. It's being repaired as quickly as possible. Work faster there, Tinker Toy. I'm cold. You strike me as a useless individual. Now, we lost some good officers out there today. Obviously not too good. Wimps got taken out by a few robots. So until we get this artillery repaired, we're the only defense these people have. Tapioca, you worry too much. Let's not forget that the men are here now. We kill shit all the time with our guns and our balls. These robots will crush your testicles like a pair of ping pong balls. They're after some guidance chip that they're convinced will get this old shipwreck of theirs flying back to the sea. So wait, it's like they want to fly a ship into the- what the fuck? That is, without doubt, the stupidest idea I have ever heard. I'm gonna need you two Boy Scouts to search the surrounding area. And take these. When we get the artillery working, I'll contact you and your Pip-Boy. After that, if you get into trouble, pop that smoke grenade, throw, and stand the hell back. Think you geniuses can handle that? All right, enough of this bullshit, Tapioca. I'm getting mixed signals here. Did you put in the call for backup just to get me here for the sex, yes or no? Yeah, and you ever been in the It's actually almost sad. These two dickhounds hit on every woman in the precinct every single day. They're relentless. And more often than not, the woman is gone before Monaco gets half a sentence out. With the radiation, we know we had to abandon our mission. Okay, all right. Dandy and I once found that it Oh. And then what? Okay. Bye. Don't want you work. I'll see you later. I'll see you around. Oh, turn around. Show me the caboose. Oh, that's a that's a fine caboose there. Nope. Nope. There she goes. Well, I... Uh, God damn it. Fuck. It is only skin deep. You know what? Even a ghoul woman. Even a ghoul woman walking away from me. Ah, how are you? I'm Officer Don... Whoa! Shit, woman. Yep. Don't worry, Monaco. Officer in pursuit. 
And you know what else? I'm fine with it. I'm just tired of them always playing hard to get, you know? Quit leading me on, goddammit. Do you think I'd approach a woman if I knew she wasn't interested in me? Fuck no, I wouldn't. But she wears the same goddamn sexy uniform to work every day just to show off to me. I know Officer Tapioca wants to get in my pants, I know it. I just can't prove it. Oh, fuck you, Ollie. You find anything, Daddy? Nothing but a fresh batch of yellow snow over there. I think Monaco's confidence has been shaken up ever since Miranda. He doesn't have his usual swagger, you know? Ever since we got to Boston, it's been all prostitutes for Monaco. And prostitutes are not top tier. There's only one other explanation. She's a lesbo. God damn, think they get that damned artillery working yet? I'm packing a frozen Dixicle and two testa cubes right now. No, nope, no word from Officer Hot Ass yet. Yeah, hey, uh, Monica, you plan on throwing one of those uh, artillery smoke things later? Danny, you bet your bottom balls I'm gonna throw one of these goddamn things. Okay, okay, now just when you do, just make sure you say the Arrivederci, all right? But Danny, are you reminding me to say my Arrivederci? Well, you know, Officer Monaco, you uh, getting a little up there in age, getting a little forgetful. I want to make sure you don't miss a good Arrivederci moment. Danny, I never miss a good Arrivederci moment. Uh, I beg to differ. There was those two wimps earlier that you blew up. I think that was a perfectly fine Arrivederci uh, moment. I disagree with you on that one, Officer Dandy. Fuck you, Ollie. What the fuck you smiling about? All right, Danny, what do you think is in here? Let's look at the wreck of the goddamn Hespers. Yeah, I don't know, maybe some kind of polar bear exhibit oh, or something? No, oh, shit! That's the worst That's than not a polar, polar bear, bear man! Oh, this my God! Like a giant robot careful, machine Monica. or something! Careful, he's got Holy the gun! Holy shit! Whoa! Strap him, guys! Strap him! Strap him! Get shoot oh him in God. the goddamn dick! Take cover, Monaco! Take Ollie, cover! Ollie, Ollie, get in there! Get, get him in there, Speak Ollie! Speak the robot language to him! Oh, shit, Ollie! Get him! Knock him out, Ollie! Get him out, You got this, Ollie! Get him, Ollie! Oh! Oh, my God! He just fucking skeet shot him! Whoa! I ain't never seen that before. Oh, man! That was hurt! That was hurt! He's okay. He's okay. God made him. Fucking He's okay. Holy goddamn Look out, shit. Monaco, Dandy, are you there? Woman, you better have some good fucking news. The artillery is fixed. I repeat, the artillery is fixed. Just say it one time, you bitch. Jesus Monaco, Christ. Monaco, throw the damn smoke grenade. Let's, let's go. go. Dandy, here it comes. Boom, right in his undercarriage. Right, let's get the artillery. Come on, oh, Tinker oh. Toy. Come don't on, be Tinker so Toy. Useless. Let's launch that fucking right, artillery be already. Be careful, Monaco. Be careful. I don't think that guy knows what he's doing uh -oh. over there. Uh-oh, look out. Here it comes. Oh, oh, there it is. Shit, yeah. Nice Holy shot, Tinker Toy. Boom. Oh, oh, look oh. out, Monaco. Did we get him? Yeah, you got him, but, uh... What the hell, Monaco? That was a perfectly good Arrivederci moment right there, and you missed it. I... Well, well, Danny, I didn't... I honestly didn't think that it was the right time to use an Arrivederci yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuck you, you little asshole. I see you smiling back there. Don't think you're fucking hiding from me. Mission accomplished. Giant robot, dead, check. Artillery repaired, check. Now all that's left to do is seal the deal with Officer Sexy Oka. So, uh, what'd you think, huh? Not too bad for backup, am I right? Yeah, we didn't even need that artillery. Tinker Toy, you confirmed my suspicions of uselessness. Yeah, you fucking suck. Yeah, from here it looked like you boys really had everything under control. So now's the part where we hook up, right? You know, old Don in Monaco shows up, playing the hero and all. You brief us on the situation, there's casual flirtation, but you fall head over heels when you see me save the day back there, am I right? No. The hero always gets the girl in the end, so what do you say? You and I, we go build an igloo, get busy inside, and we melt it from the inside out with our steamy, hot, passionate sex. Yeah, sounds good, right? Yeah. Wow, that is a beautiful picture you paint. The whole igloo thing, yeah? But let me paint you a new picture. A portrait. Let's see. Our subject sees women as objects. Objects designed for dishes, laundry, raising kids. He spends minimal time with his family. He blames the job, but in truth, his daughters are constant reminders of his inability to conceive a son. His time is alternately spent lapping whiskey out of a dog bowl, cheating hookers out of hard-earned caps, at the glory hole in the men's bathroom. Oh. That was yours? He feels threatened by women who display the slightest bit of strength. His eyes hidden behind lenses of inadequacy. His face behind a mustache of insecurity. A mustache currently dripping with snot. And finally, the lifeless, unbeating heart in his chest. A humiliating reminder that his own secretary, a woman, was able to outsmart him and destroy his life. And with that lifeless, unbeating heart, I can imagine it's a bit harder to get blood flowing down there. An interesting thought, one that I couldn't possibly be the first to consider. Arrivederci, Officer Monaco. Yep, that was a good Arrivederci moment right there, Monaco. 
Yes, it was, Dandy. Yes, it was. Well, I don't think Monaco is getting laid tonight. I know I am, though. Yeah, that uh, enormous raider woman in the prison cell? Yeah, we're gonna fuck through the bars. Hey, can I speak honestly with you for a second? Go ahead. I think you're slipping, Monaco. You know, you're getting old, your body's breaking down, you're striking out with the ladies. And if what tapioca said is true, you know that bit about not being able to make a boner and not all a, that? Not a shred of truth to that there, Dandy. On I... top of all that, and most importantly of all, you've been missing the perfectly good Arrivederci moments. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Officer Dandy. See, I don't miss no Arrivederci moments. And finally, facto numero three. Women, they sometimes tend to forget their place, you know? And sometimes, they just need a gentle nudge in the right direction to get them back into line. Ow! What the hell? Oh, shit. Arrivederci. I stand corrected, partner. That was a good Arrivederci moment. You're goddamn fucking right it was. Oh, oh yeah. You have got the right to remain sexy, Sugarbush. Oh, damn, those bars are cold, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs>